Welcome. In this session, let us look into SSH Steps plugin, which we can use to deploy apps or wars into war file into our Tomcat server. I'm Kumar and welcome to my channel on tech and tutorials. Okay. So we are also going to see how to build using the Docker image agent. I'm going to show you the pipeline. So this is what we are going to do. First, let us look into the steps plugin. So this is the page for the SSH steps plugin. And you can see here, you have multiple different options for this plugin. It's um, different from the SSH agent plugin. So you can execute the SSH commands and then you can execute scripts and uh, of course, get and put are there and SSH remove is also there. You, you can remove file from the remote host as well using this plugin. So this uses two ways of connection. Either you can use the username password. For example, you can see here, you can provide the username and password to log in into the remote host, or even you can use the SSH keys. In this session, we are going to use the SSH keys option with credentials. This is what you need to use if you are using the SSH keys to connect to the remote host. Okay, so let's go to Jenkins and actually let me show you the plugin. So let's go to the manage Jenkins and plugins it should be there in the installed SSH steps. Okay, so this is the plugin SSH pipeline steps. Okay, you can click on this. You come to this uh, homepage for this pipeline steps, SSH steps plugin. Okay. So let's go back to Jenkins. Now let me show also show you our Tomcat server. So, uh, so this is my Tomcat server, which is running in one of my VMs in, in my virtual box tool. So we are going to deploy it into this server and the IP address is 182.168.1.60. Okay. So for this SSH steps plugin, it is little different to generate the keys. Okay, the SSH keys. So let me actually show you that. So I have already generated my SSH keys in this. Uh, this is where my Tomcat is running in this uh, Tomcat server. So let me actually log in as root dot SSH. And here I have already generated my SSH keys. So as I was saying, it is little different. It is not the simple SSH key gen command. So SSH test key gen. And this is usually how most people will generate the SSH keys. In this case, for this plugin, you need to use this way of generating the SSH keys. You need to provide this PAM option, minus M PAM. Okay. So otherwise, what is happening is you are going to get the invalid private key when it tries to log in into this host. Okay. Because of the change in the version open SSH, the way it generates this keys starting from 7.8 version of open SSH, it is become little different. So the JSH SCH exception, you will get an invalid private key if you generate it using only the SSH key gen. So you need to use the minus M PAM option. So I have already done that. And let me actually show you the authorized keys here. So authorized keys, I have two here. And actually, this is the one SSH key dash PAM option for root user Tomcat. Okay, so this is the public key which I have generated. And actually, let me also show you the private key SSH PAM and VI underscore RSC. Okay, so you see here this in this case, it generates using this begin RSA private key. Okay, but if you see the other one, if I don't provide this minus M PAM, it is going to patch ID underscore RSA. So if I don't provide the minus M PAM, it is going to generate using this begin open SSH private key. Okay, you see here, this comes with the open begin open SSH, but with PAM option, you get the RSA one. Okay, so now, now coming to our Jenkins, I have already added this private keys in our Jenkins. Okay. So let us go to credentials and let me show you this one Tomcat SSH private key. We go to update. So this is in the global credentials of Jenkins. I have already provided Tomcat SSH keys, spam, and then some description, username, and the private key. We need to put in here and the passphrase. If you have generated, you can put in here. Okay. So I have already done all these things in Jenkins. Now let us see our pipeline file. Okay. So this is our pipeline file. You can use this list of key value pairs, dev remote. And here, this is an example where I am trying to use the username and password. Okay, username and password, I can directly connect using the username and password. 
okay so this ip is wrong i need to provide like this okay host and then uh, the ip address and you can provide the username and password and we are going to use this variable to log in into the remote host where our tomcat is running to deploy the war file okay let us move on i'm not going to use this that's why i've commented it out i'm using the with credentials option and ssh keys and ssh public and private keys now as i was saying we are going to use a docker image agent for running this pipeline job so my docker uh, images run in a different host so let me actually take you there so this is my docker host where a uh, docker agent where all my docker images run when i'm running it from a jenkins pipeline okay so this actually does not have any images here right now so what when this pipeline job runs it's going to pull down and it's going to run this image and i'm using an image maven 3 eclipse and this is the one of the smallest image of maven 3 which i am using and we are providing the arguments so that all the dependencies are cached into the that machine dot m2 folder it's going to cache so that in the subsequent runs you don't need to download all the dependencies otherwise it is going to download it every time whenever i run this build job so we don't want to do that okay next thing is tools we don't need to provide here we are running it inside this docker container so we don't need to provide any tools uh, the checkout option and the code is the git, git branch i have this branch of tomcat app and then this is the url okay so actually let me show you the code base so if i come here so this is my repository cicd jenkins and this is the branch tomcat app i'm using and i'm using this url to download the code from github.com okay next thing is the build the simple maven clean install and i'm I do always usually do ls minus l to see that the file has been downloaded because this helps in debugging purposes. The main thing here, this SSH steps deploy app. Okay, so this stage is for deploying our app and I'm using this with credentials option. How you generate this is you can go to the Jenkins and let us I've created this job. So let us go to pipeline syntax and in the pipeline syntax, you can actually generate this one with credentials with credentials option is there and you select this one and you can do add bindings and from here ssh user private key okay so you select this one and you can provide the key file name uh, variable name passphrase and username and you have to select the credentials here so the credentials which we are using is this one ssh key pam tomcat deploy okay and actually let me show you that one key file name let me just name it as key file passphrase variable pass and username use username okay and you do a generate pipeline and it is going to generate this code okay with credentials ssh user private key and all these uh, different variables it is going to generate which i am using directly here inside these steps okay and then i am defining this variable list variable with this key value pairs name is the name of the host and the host ip address username you can see here this is this is the username variable which i have defined username if i go to here in jenkins if you see here username variable is the this is the username same thing here username variable username i'm using and passing it to this list for this for this plugin ssh steps plugin and the identity key file is the key file name key file variable key file and allow any host true okay now for this plugin this is one simple command oh, which will execute on the remote host and this is actually another uh, same thing write file is actually uh, these are all part of this ssh steps plugin okay so this file it is going to put it into that remote host script if you want to run any script into the remote host you can use this ssh script so all these things are actually available here uh, in this ssh steps plugin i just uh, used some examples in this in my pipeline you can go through this documentation and you can see what are the things which you can actually do now in the ssh put command this is the main thing where we are actually putting our war file into our remote host okay so when this maven build runs it's going to put it inside target and then we are going to get our war file okay and into the remote host where we are putting opt tomcat web apps so this is the folder where tomcat places all its war file right so i'm putting it inside that folder and after that tomcat is going to take care of extracting this war and running it within its container cool so let us actually copy this whole thing let me copy up till here and let us go to jenkins and let us actually copy it here so let me just make it a little bigger okay so let us do an apply and see if there are any errors or exceptions everything's cool here now let's save this and okay now let us run this job now build now okay and looks like it's starting to build okay now let us go inside this console output and it's trying to download these docker 
image eclipse alpine maven image and we can actually go to our docker host and let us see actually if it has downloaded okay not yet this one's still running so let it download okay so looks like that download is complete and it's trying to run our docker image as you can see here docker run and all so let me actually go back to my images and should start to see this maven image here already downloaded and uh, looks like it is running and our build is running within that container okay so this is the checkout stuff uh, checkout part where it has downloaded all the code and it's trying to build the app maven clean install then well actually you don't see any maven dependencies download because i have already ran this build uh, using this container earlier okay so that's why you don't see the downloads thing but uh, if you're running it for the first time you will see all this maven dependencies download okay so finally you see the maven build success here and then we are doing ls minus l if i come back to our jenkins pipeline see here after the build i'm doing an sh ls minus l that's why you are seeing that one okay ls minus l it lists all the files and including this target folder which you would have created after running that maven build and then it logs in into our remote host 182.168.1.60 and it is trying to run the ls command where it prints all the files once it logs in into that remote host and eventually it actually deploys our build into our opt tomcat web apps okay so now let us go to our tomcat let me refresh this one and this is our app super cicd app so let me click on this one and you should start to see this one in here okay this is our application so let me also do one thing let me actually uh, change something and push in some code and show you the change so let me actually jenkins dash cicd dash devops is awesome and then i'll not change anything else i just change this to make it as dash and let us go to our git bash and git status i see the index file getting updated so git updated git commit updated index file and then clear the screen and we will do a git push okay now i have updated my index file so this one should have a dash in here so let me refresh this now let us go back to our jenkins job and you should do a build now okay so let's go back to our console output it should be fast because it is not going to download the image or not going to pull down any dependencies okay yep it stops the container and actually it removes the container i forgot to tell you earlier so if i go here and you see you will not see any docker containers running docker ps is empty so that's a good thing about this docker image agents it will not run any images containers after the job is done okay so in the meantime let us go to our page in our tomcat server okay let me refresh this and you should see this one jenkins dash cacd dash devops okay so this one got updated cool right so yep so that's all in this session and thank you so much and we'll see you in the next video